All right, it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. I've just been busy doing stuff and recording it all yourself. You just kind of work through it and you forget to record. <laughs> um, today, headed to a water tower. Uh, we have an Omni on the top and something went up, something wrong on it. Not sure if it's corrosion on a Cat 5 end, power supply switch, who knows? Could be anything, all the above. But so I'm gonna go climb that. Hopefully it's just a Cat 5 end. It'll be super easy take longer to climb up than it is to fix the problem itself. So we're gonna, gonna get that done today and give you a little view on the way up, what it looks like up top, kind of how everything works. And hopefully we fix the issue nice and easy, quick as possible. All right, so I'm up top here. Hopefully you can hear a little breezy out. So what I'm working with is this right here that goes up to that Omni. And the issue, I wonder if you can see it. If you look right there, those are the little fins. They are supposed to keep this Cat5 cable plugged in and it's supposed to stay clipped in there. Well, it comes out way too easy. So it just pulls out. Now that, that's the issue. And I'm guessing, let me show you. The way they have all their hoses ran going into the tube, that's what they're sandblasting. The way they're around here, uh, they're actually kind of wrapped around our cable. So when they pull on it, or they tug it, it pulls on this and tore it. Right out of the bottom of this, it's called a bullet. That, uh, that would be why. That'd be why I took this cover off and the cat 5 n was just dangling. So luckily we have another one of these programmed and uh, should be able to replace it and hopefully get it going again. But yeah, so the second anything goes wrong on a tower and you see a crew on a tower, I'd say a good 95% of the time, you know the reason why. It was probably from the crew that was here, just maybe not paying attention or you know wrapping their you know wrapping a rope or something around one of your cables pulls it loose separates it so that's the only downfall with having other crews on a tower is they might not know exactly where things go and they can pull something and then someone's got to climb up and fix it so but this should be a simple fix just replace this plug this in this uh cable right here just screws into the top and hopefully that gets it going but here, let me give you a little look around. Good view up here. All right, got the new bullet put into place here. Um, absolutely fasten the heck out of our Cat 5. So if you pull on it, it's not gonna pull from there. So hopefully that will solve the issues and future issues of, you know, people putting stuff around the cable and pulling on it or something. I don't know. Who knows? Stuff happens, though, you know. All right, let's see. I kind of want to see what the inside of this looks like. All right, let's check it out. Got to get down here quick. I got a ladder going down here and everything. Oh, my gosh. I can't even see in there. It's just, uh, it's all dust. Jeez, you just see the line of dust. Wow, got a wood ladder going in there. That's just fastened here and up over to there. <laughs> oh geez, that's probably 30 foot down or so on a wood ladder. Yep, that's uh, it's not the job for me. I think I'll stick to the top of the tank. That don't look like fun. <laughs> All right, just as I was doing a little more inspecting, I think I found what did it. He has the rope that goes to his rope ladder, comes across here, goes around this and up to there. Well, you put tension on this. This right here is this little black cable. That's what I had to fix. When you put tension on this ladder, it pulls on this cable, which then goes all the way up here 
and rips it out of the bottom of our piece right there. I bet that's what did it. It's just the way they ran it. Pulls there, moves this to the side, and it pulled it out. So let's see if I can get some more slack on this Cat 5. That way, when it does move with the rope ladder, that it doesn't pull it out or split our cable. I'm going to take a little, uh, little walk around here so we can see what this lower walkway looks like. It's actually, it's pretty narrow. I mean, if I stand like this, it's, you know, it's about an arm's length across. I'm gonna go to this side though. This is where they got the scaffolding hanging. Jeez, that's a big, this would be their, their air pressure hose for sandblasting. A lot of rope up here which goes down to that scaffolding hmm. get past here without getting caught on everything all right well my job's done time to head down Right, just like that we're off the tower and back on the road again I think it actually took longer just to record the video than it did to actually replace the bullet so it had to have been where that guy's rope was tied off so when he got on the rope ladder and moved the rope over from the tension and pulled on our cat 5 cable which pulled it out of the bottom of the bullet I'm pretty sure that's what did it but hey you know things happen it's an easy fix you know it's not a thousand foot tower or something so it's really easy to get to so I don't have any complaints it's only what 2 20 in the afternoon and I'm I'm done for the day so yeah it's a good day for a great day